Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a lower body focused yoga for flexibility practice. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in butterfly. So have a seat and then bring the soles of your feet together and your knees out wide, making a diamond shape with the legs. And you can always sit up on something if you'd like to lift the hips, if that makes things a little nicer. You can place your hands on your knees though and take a nice big inhale to lengthen through the spine. Nice big exhale. Maybe close your eyes, take another big breath in. And let it go as you exhale. One more big inhale, find a little more length through your spine if you can. And exhale, soften those shoulders. And you might just stay sitting nice and tall, feeling the breath. Or you might add a little tip forwards if you want to get into your hips a bit more. But whatever feels good for you in this moment. Just close your eyes. Take another breath in and out. Slow everything down. Hmm. Relaxing through your jaw. Letting the shoulders fall away from the ears. Just breathing some extra softness into those hips. If you did happen to add a tip forwards, use an inhale to start to bring yourself back up into that nice long spine, hands to the knees. Take another big inhale and really big exhale. Awesome, you guys. If your eyes are closed, you can start to open them up. We're going to be crossing our left leg over top of the right. So you have a few options. You can have there your right leg out long, top leg crossing over top, or you can bend your right leg in. But we're gonna take a twist here and try to find a little glute, little quad stretch while we do this twist. So take your hands and place them on your knees. See if you can plant that right foot on the floor. Take a nice big inhale, find the length of your spine. And then as you exhale, start to turn your chest towards the left side. And let's see if we can give this knee a bit of a hug and try to maybe find some glutes, some outer quad stretch, but you might just get all twist. But the low back is the lower body, I think. <laughs> just here for another moment, giving that knee a bit of a hug. Hmm. And we'll use an inhale just to turn the chest back to face the front. And we're just gonna switch sides. You can uncross your legs, unwind them. Maybe the left leg will be out straight. Maybe you wanna bend it in, but just try to plant that foot so your knee is high up towards your chest. Take an inhale to sit tall. Keep that spine long as you exhale into that twist. Give that knee a little hug. Maybe this side feels a little bit different than the other side. I can feel my glute more on this side than the other side. But every day we're different. Breathe. Nice, you guys. And we'll use an inhale to bring ourselves back to face the front of that twist. And you can just uncross your legs. Bring your feet to your mat. Maybe, maybe give yourself a little hug, a little rock side to side. And then we're going to find a half straddle. So you can keep one leg bent. Maybe send that left leg out wide if you haven't decided which leg to send out just yet. But bring that left leg out nice and wide. So if you're sitting the long way on your mat, your foot's going to be off of your foot. So nice and wide. Take an inhale here. Bring your hands to the floor. Start to point your left toes up towards the ceiling. Find a long spine. If you already feel a nice leg stretch, you can stay sitting tall. But if you want to add a tip forwards, you can add a tip forwards. But see if you can keep pointing those left toes up towards the ceiling. 
Use your fingertips, just kind of level out the shoulders, the chest, and just tip as far as you need to to find that nice inner leg stretch. Breathing wherever you are, whatever you are doing. Awesome, you guys. If you're tipping forwards, use an inhale, slowly lift on up. You can bring your left leg in and we're just gonna switch. So send the other leg out nice and wide. Nice and out to the side. Point your toes up towards the ceiling. A little flex of that foot. Take an inhale, find the length through the upper body and maybe tipping forwards as you exhale. And if that ankle just wants to relax and you feel really awesome stretch, that's okay. As long as your knee likes that. If you need to deepen things or take discomfort out of that knee, flex the foot, point the toes up towards the ceiling. Nicely done, you guys. Using an inhale, let's start to lift back up. If you are tipping forwards, bringing your leg back in, actually both of them, feet to the floor, a little shake, a little rock side to side if you'd like. Then we're going to set up double pigeon. So bring your right leg down to the bottom and cross the left leg over top. So as best you can, we're going to stack our shins on top of one another. So your foot, your top foot's going to be on top of your knee. And then that knee is going to try and find the top of your other foot. So not quite a cross-legged seat. If you have a nice big opening between your knee and you're feeling something, you can actually lean back a little bit, take some weight into the hands behind you, maybe even grab a pillow, place it between your knee if you have just a bit of space to fill. Or maybe you can get that knee to actually lower down all the way towards your foot. A little double pigeon. I like to flex my feet, both of my feet in this one. It's a really awesome glute stretch for that top leg. Maybe even the bottom leg if you're lucky. Nice work, you guys. Using an inhale, we're going to bring ourselves back up. If you did add that tip forwards, and we are just going to switch sides. So uncross your legs. Feel free to take a little break, shake it out a little bit, but then bring your left leg down to the bottom. Trying to stack those shins, maybe flex those feet. Again, maybe you're leaning back a little bit here, flexing those feet, protecting the knees. Maybe you're able to tip forward slightly or a lot. Maybe your nose is touching the floor. (laughs) Just find, kind of play with it. Find that nice glute stretch, leg stretch. Nicely done, you guys. Using an inhale, we're going to lift our upper body back up, uncrossing the legs, giving yourself a little hug, a little rock side to side. We're going to make our way onto our hands and knees into tabletop and then actually all the way into a lunge. So you can bring your right foot forwards. That left knee will stay down on the mat. So if you do want a little extra cushion, you could roll your mat over. Try to find that left hip flexor, sending those hips forwards and down. So bending that front knee, resting on the back of that top foot. And by that, I mean resting on the top of that back foot. (laughs) And just sinking into those hips. Awesome, you guys. So once you've found that nice, deep left hip flexor stretch, 
We're going to try to keep it. We're going to keep our hips sinking down and forwards, and we're just going to move our front foot. We're going to heel toe it over to the right side of our mat for lizard. So keep sending your hips forwards and down. I like to turn my toes out to the side a little bit. You can bring your hands under your shoulder, maybe adjust the back leg slightly so that you still feel that left hip flexor. But the right side's going to get some love as well. And if you do want to come down onto your forearms, you can. We're just going to be here for a little bit of time. Just softening those hips. <sighs> Opening things up. Hmm. Relax the shoulders. <sighs> awesome, you guys. If you did go down onto your forearms, start to make your way back onto your hands. We're going to slowly heel toe our foot back to the middle of our mat. Once you get it to the middle, send your hips back for a half split. Maybe the toes want to point up towards the ceiling. Feel that nice calf and hamstring stretch. Dropping the chest towards your knee if you need to deepen or go further into that stretch. Hmm. Nicely done, you guys. Take another breath here and your half split. And then use an inhale, bending back into your front knee. We're just going to be sliding that right foot back into our tabletop, unless you want to sneak in a little extra left hip flexor. <laughs> you can take a breath here in your lunge again. But then start to find your way back into your tabletop, giving those hips a little rock side to side. Shake it out a little bit, and then we're just going to switch so that left foot can start to come forwards, setting up that lunge, maybe rolling the mat over, giving that knee some support. Find that right hip now. Let your chest be heavy. Soften the shoulders. Soften the hips. It's going to let gravity try to take your body down to the floor. Nice, you guys. Keeping those hips down and forwards. You can start to heel toe your foot to the left side. Turn those toes out a little bit. Bring your hands to the inside of that foot. Keeping that right hip flexor as best you can. But also adding that left side into the mix. Maybe dropping to those forearms if you did want that little extra. Nice job, you guys. If you're down on your forearms, start to come back up. We're going to slowly heel toe our foot back to the middle of our mat. All the way back to the middle. And then send the hips back. Set up your half split. So just send the hips back enough until you start to feel that hamstring. So you might have a nice big bend in your knee and you might be feeling that hamstring. Or you might have a pretty straight leg. Just go until you feel it. And drop your chest if you want more. Nice job, you guys. With an inhale, when you're ready, you can bend back into your lunge. Maybe take a moment in that hip flexor stretch or maybe go into your tabletop right now. Uh, but whatever you'd like, eventually find your way back onto your hands and knees. Let those hips move a little side to side. Hmm, notice how your legs are feeling so far. Hmm, awesome, you guys. We're just going to tuck our toes under. A little toe squat here. Send those hips back towards your heels. Maybe push into the fingertips a little bit. Let's try to find the toes, that nice stretch through them with the hands on the floor. So gentle push into the fingertips to send the hips back towards the heels. 
And as you push into those feet, you might really feel that stretch and you can actually just stay pushing or maybe you don't have to push at all. <laughs> you're trying not to push anyway and you're like, ah, I feel that. That's awesome. You can take a seat on your heels though if you want a lot more. Soften your shoulders. Beautiful, you guys. Short and sweet. <laughs> Bring your hands back down to the mat. Untuck those toes. Give them a little love tap. Shake them out a little bit. Start to find a nice comfy seat again. We're going to do just one more wide leg could straddle with both our legs out wide. Uh -uh. Getting into those inner legs one more time. So feet out nice and wide. Point your toes up towards the ceiling. Maybe a little rock side to side with your upper body feels good. Maybe a little tip forwards feels good. Maybe just stay still, stay tall through the spine. Ah, whatever feels good for you right now. And before you start to move, we're just taking one more breath. I'm using an inhale to bring ourselves back up. You can bring your hands to the outside of your knees. Help your legs come back together. Give yourself a little rock, a little hug. And you can start to find a cross-legged seat or a comfy seat, whatever that looks like for you. Ah, but bring your hands together in front of your heart. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, namaste.